Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Welcome to Man Cave Media. Uh, today I am unboxing another figure from Good Smile. Let's check it out. All right, so a while back, uh, I purchased a Xenomorph figure from Good Smile Company. And uh, prior to that, I had no knowledge of this company whatsoever. And um, I kind of found them looking for a Comic-Con um, exclusive, because I was, I was preparing for my trip to Comic-Con. And I kind of stumbled upon Good Smile. They are based in Japan, and they make uh, figures, mostly of like anime characters, but they do some other stuff as well. And I saw that Xenomorph figure, and I pre-ordered it. And granted, uh, for the price, they are they are a bit pricey for what you get. They are kind of small, but what you get for that money is uh, incredible detail and incredible build quality. They they are made very well, and yeah, like I said, the detail is is excellent. And so. Speaking again on the price, uh, there have been several releases that they've done since I bought the Xenomorph that have caught my attention, but I'm always really hesitant to pull the trigger with them because they're so expensive. And what I mean by expensive is they're, they're about $60 US for a little figurine, man. <laughs> it's like they're, they're not that big. It's just the detail is really nice and the build quality is really nice so that, you know, you're getting what you pay for. But... Still, I'm always very hesitant to pull the trigger when I see something that I like. But longtime subscribers of my channel will understand why I pulled the trigger on this. What I have in the box is the Link figure from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So when I saw that come up for pre-order, of course I bought it, right? Because it's a Link. I have a, I have a, a unhealthy obsession with uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's one of my favorite games. Um, and of course, a sequel, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. They're, they're excellent games, and one of my favorite. And so, of course, I had to grab this. But anyways, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this out of the box, shall we? Check this guy out. So I've had this sitting back here for a little while, so the box is already open. I wanted to make sure that I got what I ordered um, within the return period. So I cheated a little bit. I peeked. Oh man, look at this thing. So this is the uh, DX edition, which I believe the difference between the regular one and the DX is you get a bunch of weapons uh, with this guy. Uh, they also had a Zelda figure that went with Link uh, from Breath of the Wild, but uh, I, you know, I couldn't justify spending over $100 for two little figures, so I held it, I, you know, I held off and I left it with just Link. Because, uh, like I said, these are these are kind of pricey. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box. Check it out. All right, so looks like they provide you with two different heads, which is cool. All right, so we have Zelda, I mean, not Zelda. So we have Link's horse. Or a horse from Breath of the Wild. You can have you can have several horses, but oh geez. So the saddle bags come off. It's very customizable. Looks like the head comes off as well. I'm not sure if they give you more heads for the horse. 
but it looks like that does come off. Let me grab that saddle bag that I dropped here really quick. Hold on before I lose it. Sorry, if you've ever seen any sneaker unboxings that I do back here, I have a very, uh, very 1970s-esque orange carpet in this room. Uh, this room, this house was built in the 60s and it's uh, original, this room anyway. Um, this room has never been touched since the house was built. So the carpet back here is, yeah. So anyhow, there's the horse. It comes with these uh, saddlebags pre-installed. And, you know, the accessories pop off. You could change them. But we'll, we'll see what else they give you for the horse. We have Link. They do a really good job, a little bit too good of a job wrapping these guys in plastic. Uh, to the point where it gets a little annoying unwrapping them. I remember that from the uh, Xenomorph. Go. Alright, there is a good look at Link. He's wearing the champion's tunic. He has his arrow quiver. And then here's the other Link head that they include in the kit. It has the uh, uh, it has the hood over it, and he's looks like going into battle. You know, he's got an angry face pose. Um, I forget what they call this hood in the game. I have it, and I can't remember it off the top of my head. But uh, this is from the game, obviously. So there's the second one. Let's see. You get uh, Link's hair and a ponytail. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, so you're supposed to add that. If you have this head on, the one that it comes with, it's got the spot for the for the ponytail right there. Like so. That's cool. All right, so we have... <laughs> we have a chicken leg drumstick. If you're familiar with the game, you have to make your own food. We have a, a wood axe. It's one of the first weapons you get in the game. It's like we have a sh the sheath for the sword. Let you get the sword out in a moment. We have a bonko club, <laughs> also one of the first weapons you encounter in the game. This is actually a weapon that you steal from one of the enemies early on. We have the Sheikah Slate. If you're not familiar with the game, this is pretty much your, your tool for everything in-game for Zelda. And we have, unfortunately, not the Master Sword. Um, this is a Traveler's Sword from the game. The blade kind of looks Master Sword-ish, but it's not. And let's see, does it actually fit in the... It does not. Okay. <laughs> we have a Traveler's Shield. Again, one of the first shields you get in the game. A Traveler's Bow. Again, one of the first things you get in the game. I'm going to keep saying that until now. This is a, what they call in the game, an ancient arrow. It's what you use to fight, it's what you use to fight the guardians in the game. Guardians are robots, sentient robots that kind of wander around, possessed by Ganon. And this is what you use to defeat them. You don't get these until much later in the game, so kind of not going with the theme here. Most of this stuff you get um, on the plateau which is the, like, 
trial area of the game where you, where you learn the mechanics. Uh, but you don't get this until later on in the game, so it kind of doesn't match the theme they've got going on here. So let's see, underneath... Looks like we got uh, different arms and such. Whoa, there they all go. <laughs> all right. So yeah, these are different arms, just like the Xenomorph had. You can um, you can swap out the arms and pose it different ways. Uh, that's actually a leg. I think you can pose this where he's riding the horse. So I'm pretty sure these legs are for if you want to pose him on the horse. And then different hands. Uh, different hand poses for holding the weapons. And then last but not least, uh, this is just a platform where you can pose them on here and kind of hold them up. And again, I got this one of these with the Xenomorph. So pretty cool. You got a nice, uh, a nice scene from Breath of the Wild. On the packaging, if you wanted to pose him in front of this with like a little background, you could totally do it. Um, I don't really have the shelf space to do that, so I'm not going to do that, but pretty nice. Uh, also in the box, it has a sheet here that kind of identifies everything that you get with the kit. And uh, it shows you how to pose him in different ways. Yeah, there's the legs for posing him on the horse, which is what I'm going to do right now. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit. I'm going to get all the rest of this stuff out of the way. It's kind of crowding my desk. It's cramping my style. All right, so first things first, I'm probably going to take off nice Link's head here. Don't worry, no Link's were harmed in this video. Ah, pop off. Because I, uh, I want Mean Link. Oh, the whole thing's supposed to come off. Why didn't the whole thing come off? There we go. I want Angry Battle Link. There we go. With the hood. Let's put, uh, let's put the stem back on. Nice Link's head here. Set that aside. Let's get Mean Link back over here. The horse. I'm going to need the horse legs. Come on. Off you go. You know what? Let's look at the instructions here. Because it actually tells you. What to do if you want to pose Link on the horse. Oh, so I think we were only supposed to change one of the legs. They're pretty vague about that, actually. Let's get the stand open and get the horse on the stand. So there's the way I'm going to pose the horse. I'm going to put his saddlebags on here really quick again. They fell off during the unboxing. Now... Let's see here. So if you take the button of the shield out... You can pose him with... So watch. I see how it works now. The butt of the sword actually comes off. And you put that in the holder, like so. So it looks like the sword is in there. Like so. That's pretty cool. And then you put it like such. And then you put this guy, this is what you use to pose him on the stand. You put this guy through it all and then into his back. So like that. 
like that. And then like that. But that doesn't work with, that only works if he's not wearing the hood. So what we're gonna do for now, just to finish off the video here, I'll pose him with nice Link's head because uh, I need to figure this out. There we go. So with nice Link's head on, we can do how I was talking about. With the sword, let's take this back out, put it in the holder. So sword, shield, they go like so, shield, sword, link, like so, ugh, gosh, they don't make that easy. Let's move the horse here, there you go. So we gotta put some legs on Link really quick. Let's put his ponytail back on. He looks kind of weird without it. Ponytail doesn't like to stay, FYI. Let's put the horse riding legs back on him. Popped off. Man, the ponytail does not stay. Neither does the horse riding legs. You got no legs, Link. <laughs> All right, he's on there. It looks kind of awkward, but there he is. Let's get the ponytail that does not want to stay. All right, so I'll give you a nice little side profile here. That's, this is how I'm going to have him posed for right now. He looks kind of weird, kind of awkward. I'll play around with it later. A little bit more but you get the gist and I'll pose them a little bit better with some weapons and such but for now that's good enough I guess all right so you know getting imposed it uh, it can be a little frustrating with when you're working with something like this where you know some of the accessories like pop on and off super easy um, it gets a little bit annoying <laughs> sometimes but overall, it is really cool. I like the detail, of course. Um, like I said, uh, that's, that's really what you're paying for uh, with a package like this, is the, the detail and the, the overall quality. This is a, re really, uh, a really well-made toy. And you can pose it a thousand different ways uh, with different weapons and different facial expressions and uh, on the horse, off the horse, you know, there's several different things you can do here. And so, I mean, you can play around with this thing for hours, kind of, you know, styling it the way that you want it to look. And then, of course, displaying it. And if, once you get tired of it being in a, in a certain position, you can repose it, you know. It's it's fun. It's fun. Is it worth 60 bucks? <laughs> oh, God, for what it is? Again, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff come out from Good Smile since I bought the Xenomorph. I keep doing that because it's on the shelf behind me there. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff come out since I bought that guy, and I've just been really hesitant to go with it, man, because 60 bucks is a lot for something like this. Um, I, you know, 60 bucks, I could buy, you know, what, three Funko Pops? Um, so it is what it is. Uh, if you really like uh, figurines like this that you can pose, in a, a lot of different styles, then I do highly recommend this company for that purpose. If you're really into anime, uh, you gotta check them out. They have a ton of anime stuff. Um, they do lots of uh, like pop culture stuff. They did some Ghostbusters stuff. Um, besides, you know, and Aliens, of course, I have the, the Xenomorph and stuff like that. They, they do a lot, of, a lot of cool things, but a little bit pricey, but if you're into it, it's worth it.
All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great afternoon, and like always, thank you for watching.